Hi y'all, it's Alice with Vintage Gal 18. So I'm coming to you with another set of cards. So I've created one set of two cards and then I created two layouts using uh, the 6x6 six six paper. And now I'm coming to you with my second set of two cards. And these two cards, I'm going to be using my own base uh, for the card itself. And of course the tag and the, what is that thing called? Um, the string. What I'm using here is I'm going to be stamping out a ton of different color uh, balloons and I am going to fussy cut them. I am going to add some bows to the end. They do have the stamp um, or it's called birthday bits. This is a stamp of course from the Simon Says kit and it does have like a little tie bow um, so I could stamp on there and I was thinking about doing that but I haven't really used my punch bow that much I mean I use it only to punch out bows and to have to aside you know like those scrap papers remember I showed you how I store my scrap uh, paper or punch outs for my scrap paper and one of the punches that I do use a lot is um, the bow one but of course to actually use the bow into a project I have not used it yet so that's what I'm gonna do here I pretty much challenge myself to use the bows on the balloons itself and I should have still drawn in the, the line. There's an, a stamp for the line of the balloon itself. And I only used it on one balloon and not on both the balloons. Because the picture that I saw from the inspiration sheet, on some of the balloons they don't have lines. So I thought it looked cute. But for some reason, I don't know, I feel like it's a little off on my cards. But my cards are done. I like them. I'm leaving them like that. Um, so only one balloon has a line that I do use. And then the other two have the bows with a little bling attached to it. So I thought it was cute. I also use my stamp that says let's celebrate and I stamp that on the bottom. And of course right here all you're going to see me doing is creating the balloons. Then after that you'll see me uh, put everything together into a card. I first add everything into a tag and then that tag I use some foam uh, dots or not dots but more like the squares the foam squares that have that little bit of uh, cushion to lift it up and um, it gives it like a dimension to the card and I really like the way it came out I use a polka dot card base so I think it kind of flows with the sentiment let's celebrate it doesn't necessarily have to be for a birthday um, but you know it can go either way I don't know I, I just really like the way they came out as far as the stamping goes if you see some balloons that have like a bit of a paint missing or I kind of like that I'm not getting rid of those um I don't know it feels like the as if I colored them in with a marker you know that look that you get when you're using your Copics and you use three different shades you start off with a lighter then go darker um I, I kind of feel like that's what this stamping did to it it kind of off colored it a little bit so some of it is going to be a little bit white but I like that it gives it I don't know it just gives it another look um, opposed to it being just perfectly colored in it just looks awesome I don't know I like it um, what else I think that's it just really wanted to share these cards with you in the process and I'm actually rolling with September kits so I'm hoping that yes I will finish September kit before October's over and get on with my October kit. So here's to wishing and hoping and achieving that. <laughs> so stay tuned guys for more videos. I'm glad you're joining me and um, I'll be back. Bye.